had a sales appointment, let's say, where the potential customer was asking you questions where you said to yourself, why do they not know this already? Like you got a question that even made you roll your eyes and like, oh my goodness, this is gonna go nowhere. Or maybe even it was for a job interview and you were interviewing a candidate and for whatever reason, they just were asking things or didn't know things that they already should know. What if you could eliminate those from any sales appointment you ever had again? Those moments when you thought to yourself, am I wasting my time today? What if they always knew the answers? What if they were dramatically further down that sales funnel because of how you had integrated content into the sales process? Well, that's what I wanna talk about now with an amazing concept called assignment selling. Now, a question for you. How many pages of your website do you think a potential customer or even potential employee recruit would be willing to read before they buy? On average, what do you think? Most industries say, ah, oh, probably two or three pages. And here's what we have found. Most companies dramatically underestimate the amount of content, assuming it's good, our potential customers are willing to consume. Because we think we've bought into this idea that everybody's too busy, that they don't have the time, which is fundamentally false. In fact, we know that people will spend way more time than they ever did learning about products or services or companies so as to ensure they do not make a mistake. Now for me, this all came to become perfectly crystallized around the year 2013 with my swimming pool company. You see, with that company, I decided to look at all the folks that had filled out a form on our website that said, I wanna get a quote for a pool. And I divided them into two groups. The ones that had filled out a form and said, I'm gonna get a quote and bought versus the ones that filled out a form said, I'm gonna get a quote and didn't buy. So I said, what is the difference between the ones that did versus did not buy in terms of their behavior? And here's what we found. It's quite fascinating, my friends. The number 30 kept jumping out. In other words, this group over here, the one that bought, we kept finding that they had read 30 or more pages of the website. Here's specifically the number. If somebody read 30 or more pages of the website, they would be willing to buy 80% of the time. Daggone, that's some pretty good numbers, right? Considering the industry average was 25%. So all we had to do was get them to 30 pages of content before that initial sales appointment and they would buy 80% of the time. So of course, what was happening over the course of those 30 pages? Well, they were self-educating and therefore moving down or out of the funnel. And it meant that in the actual sales process, we were spending less time doing what? That's right, teaching, and more time doing, that's right, selling. That is the idea. And this is why I said it's possible for us to eliminate many of those redundant questions that we get, but it only happens if they've consumed the content. This is the essence of assignment selling. We have seen this work in industries all over the globe without exception. And this is certainly not an exception. And so how do we apply this? Well, that's what we're going to look at next. What does essentially the script of assignment selling work like? How could you teach it to your team? That's what we're going to look at right now.